Hey folks, how y'all doing? It's Digital Divestity Streams time, and we're gonna we're gonna be playing some very different games today. I had decided that I was in the mood to do something other than visual novels today. I absolutely love visual novels, as you know, they are my jam. Um, but it felt like time for something a little different. So I went back through the submissions list and I found three games that were incredibly different from each other and they've all been sitting there for a little while and I thought, you know what, let us jump in and see what these games are like. Um, there's, there's a lot going on in there and I'll, I'll take you through each one individually. Of course, uh, here on Digital Diversity, we are very aware of uh, content and content warnings. So please, if any of the following is really not good for you, we're not gonna feel bad if you duck out. So, this now today, we are going to be playing a story about you, which can, can does contain flashing images, mentioning of physical assault and animal death. Uh, we have got Farm VI with no content warnings. And we have Even in Arcadia, which has mentions of drug use and suicidal ideation. These are, of course, straight off the... Stars. Hey, PukaCon, how you doing? Content warnings. Yes, we are very serious about them. Very serious here. How are you doing? We started a little earlier. I've just been in the vibe today. I've, I've, I've had a very heavy week and I want... You know what? Let's let's get into this. Let's focus on some some very different and interesting and fun stuff. And I'm really keen. We're gonna have a lot a lot going on today. I have my Mothra energy drink. Hey Mala, how you doing? Uh, we've got all the games all lined up. We're happy to go. We're just gonna take a few minutes to chill. How is everyone doing? How are y'all holding up? Let's put on some more music. Uh, so the music that we've been uh, featuring for Digital Versity is music by Lee Rosphere. Um, they do a lot of really great Creative Commons music for podcasts and things like that. So we're just gonna have some chill. We're just kind of some chill. Yeah, focus on the things. We're gonna have some good games, good times. These are all very different games in how they are made, in how they present, uh, in terms of content. And don't worry, we will be back on visual novels next time. I've got a lot of those to play. Uh, but I've been burning myself out on them, I really have. Like, <laughs> also, since I've been throwing myself into full service shop for the last like two days, which is a heck of an adult visual novel, I tell you what. Um, some very positive stuff in that, but can't stream that. Makes me sad. Uh, I mean, it's not quite hard-coded level. It's it's somewhere between like hard-coded and knife sisters, so it, it's definitely um, tricky. Yes, garden paws. Hey, Possum Productions. Yeah, I. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, if you wanted to check where all these games are found, they are of course on this sheet here. There you go. Uh, we have, right in the chat right now, Possum Productions themselves. So their first, the, the first game, A Story About You. A Story About You. A Story About You <laughs> is first up. Um, oh, I don't want, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but there's a, I'm really questioning how to focus on uh, more adult themed games for the project because of course I can interview people. I can't stream them on here. I would need to do them somewhere else. But by doing that, I would actually break my affiliate uh, program. So I'd have to get rid of subs. I'd have to get rid of emotes. I'd have to get rid of all of that supporting revenue for digital diversity. So it's really awkward. Um, but I have seen a bunch of people recently give up their, hey, how you doing? Hey, Jeb. 
Um, so yeah, we're, we're, I'm working out what I can do with that. At the moment, I've just worked out that the easiest way for me to talk about the adult games that I'm really keen on trying or that I'm really enjoying is just live tweet the goddamn thing. And I did that with Full Service Shop, and it was a lot of fun. Um, and heck yeah, I'm going to interview the people who made that when I have a chance. But yeah, how y'all doing? How is everyone doing? We started a little early so we could get a bit of a warm-up, stretch, you know, get into this. Um, just just going to enjoy ourselves today. Uh, you can't answer. Hey, Draz, how you doing? Yeah, that's fair enough, Jav. So. Gosh. Yeah, you're a VIP. Are you surprised? I mean, honestly, I think I've featured more of your games on the channel, Drives, than I have anyone else's. So if you weren't a VIP, I'd be, I'd be feeling pretty bad about myself. Um. Hey, Bob. Speaking of VIPs, the wonderful Bob C Games is in, creator of Yags, Zags, and the upcoming Zen. I do love games that are made as acronyms. Game title acronyms are my thing. <sighs> we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Gosh. So today we have we have stuff happening today. We have we have some games happening. Um. So let's see. We have. Let me get my itch thing up. If no one else uses the itch browser, like the itch application, get it. It is one of the best things ever for this sort of thing. Strange place where I got feeling pretty good kind of dropping it. Well, hopefully, hopefully we can, we can help you pick up here. Um, oh, by the way, if, if anyone here who has currently made a game, who has, uh, any queer folks here who have made a game who have not submitted it to the digital diversity panel yet, i.e. there's a Google form that you fill in and let me know that I can stream it. Um, or, or talk to you about it or something. Please do so. We've got 89 on there and I am so looking forward to cracking 100. Uh, so where's where's my thing? You're here. You're actually here now. Okay. Welcome back. Oh, fuck. Um, let me look. Okay. I mean, we've got a bunch of people who've submitted a bunch of games. So let me have a quick look. We're just killing some time for the moment. We're just chilling. Getting into a good space. I'm, I'm happy to do a little bit of chatting. A bit of... <sighs> I'm sorry I've been quiet, folks. I'm like I'm sorry there hasn't been a lot of stuff regarding streams and uh, podcasts and all stuff like that. It has been it has been a difficult time in the old brain mates lately. Uh, I'm doing my best, as we all are. the The current world situation is definitely not helping matters, uh, but we're here for each other. And I'm sure as hell not going to let uh, this project suffer. I did that last year and I'm not letting it happen again. Uh, so we have just had uh, Tangle Virus's interview uploaded onto the, the blog. We've got another one with the creator of Love Hughes in the works. Uh, we have hopefully got one with the people who made Full Service Shop in the queues. I believe Maddie was talking about a mini episode for the podcast. Uh, there's, there's a lot going on. Uh, where's my, was, that's right, I was gonna get my list of, uh, list of games here. So, where's my list? There we go. Uh, for those of you who, who don't know, I have a, a Google, uh, form that, uh, queer game devs can submit their game. They say, are you happy for me to stream it? Are you happy for me to interview about it? So it's pretty impressive just how much stuff there is. So let's see. Summary. Let's have a look at how many uh, Drazilians. Uh, let, let, I think two of our biggest contributors here are Bob and uh, Bob and Draz. So uh, let's say one for Draz. Uh, where's Bob's? I don't know, one for Bob. I think they're more further down here. Two 
two for Bob, three for Bob. You're up to three so far. Um, didn't you just put in Zen as well? I think you put in another one. I think I've got like three or four here for, um, and then of course we've got the wonderful, uh, oh, Zags is Zen. Okay, yeah. There's no concern there. Um, we got a bunch by NPC KC, who is amazing, as probably many of you know. We've got a bunch by Tangled Virus, who probably knows. Hey, Rafe, how you doing? I was having a bit of a chat before we get rolling. Um, but yeah, we've... I'm really impressed. Like, the spreadsheet is impressive. And that is nothing compared to what's actually up there. Like, if you look at itch and you look for... Um, how many how many games that are tagged? Thank you, Bob. That's amazing. You're amazing. Uh, like how many games are tagged with the LGBT tag? And I'm so glad they put LGBTQIA in there now because there have been like it's almost tripled since I put that tag in, which makes me so happy. Um, but the LGBT tag, what's it up to now? Uh, we don't want the ones that are tagged both. We just want the ones that are tagged LGBT. Games 1285. So, hey, how you doing? Welcome. We are just about to start get, get rolling for this episode of Digital Diversity. Uh, so, let's, yeah, let's get this running. Hey Tangled, how you doing? We were just talking about uh, folks who submitted a lot of games for the project and you're, you're definitely up there. Um, I think you're up to three or something like that at least. All right, uh, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? What's one by Onibroka? Now I'm curious, now I'm just going through my form list because it's just seeing what people have submitted and there's some really fun stuff in here. Uh, and it's all it's all updated you'll submit many more games i hope so it was absolutely wonderful to get to interview you before and for those who uh, would like to know more about tangled virus who is an amazing visual novel developer uh there is a link to the interview that i did with tangled virus and it is a lot of fun it's very gay and it gets gayer hey onyx all right, I think we're ready to roll. Are you ready to roll? I'm ready to roll. I need more energy drink. I, I get my energy from here and I get my energy from you. So all of you folks just feed me. Let's get fucking weird. <laughs> you games and the stream will get yeah? Nice, all right, let's switch over to a game face. And what are we playing right now? Uh, we are going to be playing... Let's switch off the tunes. And let's go and bring up the first game for today. Which is... Butter, 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 butter. And we want display capture for this one. I've been messing around with all my uh, stuff. A story about you. Before we get started, let's see those content warnings again. A story about you does have flashing images and mentioning of physical assault and animal death. Um, please be aware of these content warnings, what you, what you are at risk of, if some of these things might get to you, or they may be a cause for a, alarm for you. And if you need to skip it, we have no problem with that. Remember, we care about your boundaries. Yep, we've got a Bitsy, we've got a Unity, and we've got some, and we've got a, like, an ASCII game. So this is going to be, yeah, I, I get three games that are not visual novels, and I'm very curious. All right, so let's play a story about you. Turn up some sound a little, because this one has music, a bitsy game. Yeah, zero original this time. We're playing it's a game with music, which if you play bitsy games, is not that common. Do 
You were driving on a long, lone road, struggling against a pain in your body that only grows. You intend to drive to your girlfriend's house. You have no charger, little fuel, and only pajamas. That isn't too far. Do not plan ahead. The sun is slipping slowly as your phone blinks. You don't recall this road, but you're tired and in pain. Maybe you've forgotten how long it takes to get there. This is already beautiful. Ah, there you go, the link to the uh, musician. Soundcloud.com slash Beats by Soy. I like that. Oh yeah, B Bitsy, the latest, like, th that is very true. Bitsy is the thing. It is now, it is such an acceptable, <laughs> this is not Desert Bus, although Desert Bus and Bitsy would be interesting. <laughs> 12 hour long Desert Bus game. Like, uh, for those who haven't used Bitsy, Bitsy is a fantastic small engine that runs in your browser. And you just make these wonderful little narrative experiences. And like my first game that I made was in Bitsy because it is such an easy thing to learn. Your phone is dead. Rip. Press F to pay respects for phone. A green light blinks on your dashboard. There is little fuel left and far too much road. You struggle to recall. Was it payday yesterday or tomorrow? You see a gas station not far ahead. This is really, like, cleverly done, by the way. Like, for those who have played with Bitsy, this is really clever. And there's where you are. So this is what you do. So everything here is its own little sprite. Our little character, that's a sprite. This deer smoking a cigarette near the gas station. You stand before a large man making short work of a cigarette. Not far from a puddle of fuel, he watches as you walk. Hey darling, what's your name? You feel the tug at your chest, the anxiety spreads like a poison and you cannot answer him. You cannot answer him. Yeah, the, don't, don't be like this person please. We got a motorcycle here, like... Yeah, it... I mean, this is very possibly... So, Bitsy is also highly moddable. So, that's another wonderful thing about it. There are plenty of mods around for it. And it's really clever. You try to pump gas, but the screen explains that it is pre prepaid this late at night. You must go in and pay first. I'm gonna steal the motorcycle! Hop on the motorcycle! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that's cute. It's got little, like... A wonderful thing about Bitsy is you always, like, you want to check out every sprite. You want to see if every sprite is interactable and how. You see a fire extinguisher hung from an unseen hook. The plate below indicates that it is around 40 years past its use-by date. An employee marked it as inspected on Friday one week ago. Yeah. Like, if people want to get into making games... Oh, the bottom of the game's thing's cut off? Alright. I'm having to do a little odd because it's, um... Just because of how it's done. There we go. Might just have to do it like this. Hope you don't mind. Actually, I can probably go like that. Yeah, it'll do. It'll do. We'll do what we have to do. Let's try that. Browser games are really awkward to get running for stream sometimes. There we go. What? I didn't mean to leave. You see a large shelf of lighters standing separate and tall. The clerk stares unblinking. 
did not have a price, only a sign that reads, stealing is against the law. Police need not fear the law, citizens need fear the police. Yeah, and think about how that makes me feel, Draz. Whoa. That's really clever. That's really smart. I like that. You see yourself behind the desk, but it is not you. She blinks as you do. You explain to the clerk your situation. That you have no available funds for fuel you desperately need. She listens, nods occasionally, and says only this. I'm very sorry. I cannot help you. I could lose my job. <laughs> like, ah. Oh. You know this channel gets very into the the creation of the games. That's another thing that we do here. We love talking about how these things are made and special little things that set them apart. And just that, like... You put your card into the slot just as the ATM requests. It informs you that your accessible account is empty. Your phone is dead, and so there is no way to transfer the cash. The ATM spits your card onto your slippers. Okay, uh... Alright, how are we gonna do this? What if he finds out you're lost? He's bigger than you. You don't think you could fight him. You're only wearing PJs. He catches eyes. What is he thinking of doing? This is... If he grabs you, who will stop him? Holy shit. You're weak. You're too weak to fight. You're weak. No one will save you. No one will hear you. No one will find you. You're overcome with fear. You cannot go near him. Too bad. We're going near. You need to calm down. You need to find something that will help. Uh, what's in the car? Uh, you stand before the clerk shaking. She gives you the key to the bathroom. Amazingly smart. The room keeps changing. There's a really big rat. The possum dropped a small hot packet filled with liquid that squelches. You pick it up and press it to the pain, pain, pain in your abdomen. You feel comforted more than capable. Prepared. Yeah, it's a possum. That's so cute. This is like... This is so good. Do you want the key back? No? Okay, I'm stealing your key. How about you? Hello, you say, pressing your nails into your palm. What do you want? He asks, smiling far too wide. I need cash for fuel, it's an emergency. You got a lighter? Mine's all out. Gonna steal a lighter, gonna steal a lighter. Be gay, do crimes. Can I steal one? Do we have a lighter? No. Let me steal a lighter. <laughs> Will do. Crime, crime, crime. I'm feeling like... Possum, hey, possum. Do you got any cash? Does the possum have cash?
Where's my verb wheel when I need one? Uh, steel bike. Also, this music is amazing for, like, it, it loops really well. <laughs> You're impulsive and you have bells, right? Yeah. I'm just interacting with everything I can trying to find. I may need a pointer. I may need a walk. Uh, uh. There's, there's no steel verb. Where's the steel verb? I think I've interacted with most things. Oh, outside there's another area. Okay. Oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. A metal... The metal teeth clutch possum skull. It has been crushed. You pry open the release the mouth. Release the rodent that slumps in the pool it has made. Aww. The possum died. Poor possum. F to pay respects to the possum. Did I just get anything? Come in, possum friend. Oh, it's behind the thing. Okay. That's locked now. There we go. I'm very sorry. You show her the trap dripping with blood that trickles from the ledge to the floor. She thanks you, picks it up, and takes it to be cleaned. The blood will scare the others, she explains. You grab the lighter, however your haste causes you to knock over all the lighters on the shelf. You listen for the clerk. She's not back yet. Ah, distract the clerk. Sneaky. Well, well, there's a good girl. Here's your money. See how it pays to take care of a regular customer? Well, you're a weird one. Ah. Uh. I have played a lot of Bitsy games. This is really well put together. Like, this is what you can do with a really... <gasps> Possum friend! This is done in tiles. This is done in freaking tiles. Think about that. If you haven't played it, you approach the giant. It blinks white light and you cannot meet its eyes. Like, this possum is made up of tiles as small as our avatar. It is... Oh. Please, let me go home, you whimper. The giant closes its eyes and smells the air. Is, is this a Dark Souls boss? Do, do, do I need to get ready to roll? You smell like the blood of our kin. So you have done your job. We will miss her dearly. Why do you wish to go home, child? You have worked. You have work to do here. Do you not have need to stay? You shake your head. Please, I have money for fuel. I do not sell fuel, only traps. It notices how you shake, its voice becomes softer. Do not fear, child. If you wish to go, we can help. Do not fear, child. If you wish to go, we can help. Wah! Possums! That's one of the trap. Take care. You may only choose one path. Oh. Which one? Left or right? So. We have the one in the trap. And we have the other one. Left. Thank you. The trap is ready. You can go back to work. We will never blame you.
You'll be able to leave one day. Okay, so we end up returning to our life, I guess. Let's find out what the other one is. Speed run. Uh, someone get the speed run page up. I want to see how fast we can do this. Other ending. Shit, I lost it. I lost clients. This is so well done. Like, look at these animations. Look at this sprite usage. Like, it's really smart. It's really well put together. I'm losing points out. I'm losing valuable milliseconds. This is, yeah. Uh, this is, I think, pretty much anyone who's made... Um, made a game does this themselves all the time. Oh. Well, I've gone off the edge. Whoops, I'm in the geometry now. Their game played a game that's been recent. Uh oh. No clip! <laughs> we found the sub ocean! Someone please get the dev on the line. I need to file a bug report. Oh wait, the dev is here. <laughs> yeah, put a hat on the <laughs> It's okay, we're good, we're good. Ah, uh, don't apologize, it's fine. That was fantastic. Like, ah. Uh. So that was a story about you. And gosh that was fun that is really well done possum productions a plus for that one like the use of the secret ending yeah i got the secret ending let's see other people get that uh bitsy is both super super easy to get use of but it's also incredibly uh an incredibly valuable tool incredibly useful tool for telling stories <laughs> Yep, yep, uh, I, I glitched out. So, our next game for the day. This one has no kind of warnings. This one is called Farm VI. So let me jump over to, should be that one. There we go. So this is a game all in ASCII. So this is going to be really fun. It's your one. It was going to happen. It was going to happen. So, Farm VI by Draven R. Stedman. You recently bought a plot of land in the isolated Midwest town of Douglas. MN? Minnesota? I don't know my, I don't know my American states. After being struck by a profound wish to quit your boring menial office sysadmin job and become a farmer, fucking mood the year is 2028 and you're finally able to make your dream of a farm life come true who here would happily give up everything right now to go be on a farm or something like who would happily <laughs> like a sis admin <laughs> fuck all right what is your name uh kaiju this is really cute so we have 20 bucks it's uh, it's a server farm. Uh, so it's day one. And <laughs> farm of gay games and potatoes. I would love that. A farm where like with like an attached. Oh, hit 
that for health. There we go. Modes. Idle, do nothing, E, examine, P, plow, S, plant, water, harvest, buy, sell, automate, help, and options. <laughs> options. Pause the game and, well, guess. Yeah. Okay. So, we want to... How do I tell if I have seeds? Okay, let's let's plow. No. Plant. Yeah, farm guy is intentionally unpolished and is obtuse reference to Vim. Okay. Hit enter. Oh, you hit enter and do the thing. Okay, so seed plato, uh, p plow. Plow. Oh, okay, so, sorry, I'm actually having to, let's move this screen over here, because I'm actually needing to see it on my, uh, game screen to think, so, I might need to buy seeds, okay, that's fine, I'm gonna move that over to there, so we're just gonna, we do it like this, plow, we can mess up. let's do some loans, let's go, uh, buy sell is B, buy goods uh, what do we want do we want potatoes wheat lettuce or carrots expand land by one cubic meter okay we have 20 bucks so our like the strats here would be either potatoes or carrots because they're cheap in bulk yeah let's go potatoes let's go potatoes Oh, okay. Uh, bye, bye, bye. That, that, and then we're gonna go. Seeds is S, and then we're gonna go. Seed, 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 seed. Oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> this is really cool. God, it's day three already? What the hell? All right. We'll do a lot of potatoes and then we'll, we'll see if we can make enough from the next lot. This is amazingly obtuse. Time means nothing after 2020. <laughs> Having... This is so funny. I love it. Oh, we gotta water them. Yep. Uh, water is W. I eat a lot of potatoes, okay? Wait. Water, water tiles. How do I tell if they're watered? All oh, right. Crop potato, moisture level 40%. Ah, okay. Growth time. Ah, okay. Yeah, there we go. Like, as a kid, I would have loved this thing. This looks so good. Okay. How long have you been working on this one? Tell tell us more about this. Tell us more. When did you start this? So we have the wonderful dev in at the moment. So moisture level, that's growing. Oh, it's it's consistent. The the speeding is consistent. So even if you do nothing, time is passing and things happen. This is, like, this is super cute. Alright, uh, let's go back to the buy sell. We're gonna buy, we're gonna buy carrots. And we're gonna go plow, plow. 
All right, I'm gonna put some other music. Uh, I'm gonna put some music on quickly. So I got something to listen to. Uh, Twenty nineteen. Okay. So the, I like it. This is really good. All right, let's listen to this. There we go. Because I'm enjoying the hell out of this. We missed a spot. This is so much easier than Stardew Valley. Wait, how do I pick which C? Oh, that way. There we go. Wheat, lettuce, carrot. Game instantly better than Stardew Valley. Just saying. I don't have to romance anyone. Yep. Feeling pretty good about this. Alright, so we've got carrots, we've got potatoes. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, but some of us don't like being forced into romance in games. This is just fun. All right. They'll grow as long as the water is available is above 50%. Okay. All right. Uh, water. <laughs> this is your only contribution. Ah. Uh. Let's, let's chat and talk games. What have people been playing lately? Anything particularly queer that you want to share? I'm enjoying the hell out of this, by the way. This is good. Yeah, anything not Animal Crossing. I don't know. I've been, I've been playing a bit of Animal Crossing too. I spent all night trying to get enough, uh, enough turtles so that when CJ turns up, I can get a turtle statue. Yeah. We need to play more Garden Paws, Pukicorn. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, Pukicorn and I do some streaming together. Um, we've recently been utterly obsessed with um, uh, Garden Paws. It's super cute. Yeah, it's been a weird ass week for a lot of us. I've been playing a little bit of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup Kick recently. Nice. I'm particularly queer. Watching a bunch of magical girl anime. That's pretty queer. 39% for the potatoes. Okay, let's wait. So our wait should just be uh, idle. Okay. Alright. Yeah! That's so cute. So someone did, um, a, a, a wonderful friend of mine did my character for Garden Paws. Actually, you know what? We're, we're, play we're gardening right now. Let's bring up my Garden Paws character because this is, this is who I am in, in game. So let's, um, uh, well, let's, let's make this happen. So, wow. So this is my my character in Garden Pause. So I'm just imagining that this is who I'm playing right now. All right, what are we up to? Uh, we need to get back to water. Hey Jason, how you doing? Cool. Like if you haven't played Garden Pause, it's so lovely. It's it's kind of a mix between my time at Porsche. Stardew Valley and uh, Animal Crossing. It has a. It's very chill. It's very relaxed. So we're just watering our carrots. I want to sell stuff. Can we sell stuff already? But yeah, who like uh, Pukicorn and Morgan put so much time last of last one of our streams to get me this skin. This exact skin my character has in the picture. And I made it glittery, and I just, ah, oh, it was so wonderful. Alright, what am I doing? Alright. Uh, potatoes are still gonna take a while. Everything, ah. Oh. 
Yeah, exactly. There's no romance system in it. And I'm not against romance systems. I'm just against it being a prime like a primary mechanic that's kind of forced on you that if you don't do it, you feel like you're not trying. God, this is taking a while. Come on. Grow faster. This is a really fun game for just chill it out. I got to say though. Like, you could probably have this running on your other screen and just, like, get back to it once in a while. Yeah, th this is a really fun little idle game. Yeah, when specific parts of the game are blocked around interaction or um, romancing characters, that that gets to me a bit. It's like, I want to be able to play the game and not feel like I'm I have to interact. Because, you know, I'm I'm quite a lot of an introvert. I like my, my chill space. Oh, we're getting there. What else we got? Yet automating stuff. Will you... Yeah, we can just put this in automation mode. What What is the price of automation? I want to ask that before I do it. Like, what what is the price of doing this? Oh, it's a menu? All right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, vending machines where affection goes in and gifts come out, or the other way around. Like... Okay, you buy tools which automate your work. Okay, so if we go... But then we want... Automate. Farm supply automation department. Auto plow. Auto cedar. Auto irrigator. Auto harvester. The irrigator would probably be amazing. God, how long does it take to get $10,000 in this? What's a potato worth in this game? How are we doing? 70%. Let's get at least one crop in. Let's try to get at least one crop in today. So let's just do it. Being a farmer is hard work, y'all. I mean that's why I got my overalls on, right? We gotta we gotta get our farm look going in here. Ooh. Hey, the carrots are done. Sweet. Uh, harvest. These all done? Okay, this line is done. <laughs> Sell all the carrots, yep. Yeah, there's a ding, it's really cute. Uh, what are these? Alright, I'm curious what a line of carrots is gonna net us. Like, it's a dollar for 10 seeds. What's the sale price? So we're gonna go buy, sell, sell goods. Carrots are 50 cents a piece. So we make back, we get five times back. So it costs us a dollar for ten, and we sell, um, sell it for five. Holy shit! Oh my god, it will take forever. Lettuce is good. Lettuce is good. Yeah, lettuce. Lettuce might be our win here. So we'll do our we'll do our round. Yeah, lettuce is OP, so we're going to sell all our carrots and potatoes and go all in on lettuce. Yeah. It probably takes a lot longer to grow. Alright, we need to water everything again. Oh, carrots are done. Oh, that's fun. I like that sound. I feel like I play an old DOS game and I think I love it. 
Okay, as someone who grew up in the 90s on old DOS games, this is like, this is so perfect. I love this. Oh, almost a lot of carrots to them. I mean, this music that I've got, um, the music I've got going at the moment is Lee Robesphere. So that's uh, Lee Robesphere music for podcasts because there's no in-game music. There's game sounds, but there's no music. So I've just got music for podcasts going because it's nice and chill. <laughs> you got rid of the music. Yep. Don't worry. It's all good. This is why we have wonderful Creative Commons uh, musicians to go for. Uh, Lee Robesphere also uh, does the music for the Digital Diversity Podcast. How are we looking on potatoes? Procedures, yeah. Make, that's the thing, you can make the game as small as you want and you can just have fun making a small game. That's the beautiful thing. Like, you don't need to make a big game. This doesn't need to be my time at Porsche. This doesn't need to be. The question is, do I have enough money for the for the for the cabbages? So let's go into buy sell. Let's sell our carrots. Nice. Uh, let's go to buy goods and let's go to lettuce. So lettuce is twice as much, but we get a day in game time is a minute real time. I like the real time clock on it actually. So let's get as much lettuce as we can. Yeah, it sells for 250, so that's 150% on top. Yeah. Or is that a thousand percent? I can't remember. Don't don't ask me to math. Just gonna plow. And I love the idea that this just expands as you go, because it expands by one grid space each time. Uh, so we wanna sow, we wanna sow lettuce. We have 75 lettuce seeds. The actual economy is very forgiving to make up for how but brutal the early game is. Ah, so this is the Dark Souls of farming games. You could put that as your tagline. Dare you. Alright. I think we're good. Potatoes are... Potatoes are almost done. Oh! Potatoes are done. This is me at dinner time every night. Potatoes are done. Ah, it's the net hack of farming games. Oh, there you go. There you go. I'll say that again so you can do it. This is the net hack of farming games. Quote, Kaiju. Okay. Uh, let's sell some potatoes. Oh, we sell one potato. Let's wait. So we gotta do this properly. So this current sale price is 20, okay. So the price is actually gonna fluctuate, so. It's that choice of, do we wait for a day for the price to go up? So we might have to do that. But at least I don't feel stressed. Like, that's the thing. That's what I think makes a good farming game. One where you don't feel stressed to, um... Oh, it doesn't fluctuate in this version? Okay, so these are still worth twice as more. That's fine. And we're going to... So, as we pull out potatoes, we're going to replace with lettuce. Yeah. Let's switch to water. Alright. There we go. I would love, like, this would be amazing to play on a, on a controller. Like, I would, I would happily play this on a controller. 
How are we doing? Potatoes are almost done. Can we get a ding? Where's the ding? I was expecting an earth shattering kading. That's another string of potatoes. Love two days for us. Yeah. So, I gotta ask, why a farming game? That this is this is me. I'm gonna I'm gonna interview you here. Why a farming game? Tell us tell us about why you made this. Tell us what inspired you. What midnight urge? You don't remember? You just you just suddenly started playing one. No, uh, started making one. It's like ah, may as well. You love Farmville when you're a kid. I hate that no game can use Ville anymore because of Farmville, because of uh, that company. So yeah, little known fact, you cannot call a game something Ville anymore. You'll get trademarked out the wazoo. <laughs> came in a dream, came in a farming dream. That's all good, that's all good. All right, all the potatoes are done. All right. <laughs> cool ideas make some interesting stuff. No, that one's not done yet. Okay, so you can't harvest something that's not uh, finished yet. Oh, that one needs to be watered again. Yeah, ask him in your life. You, you say that? Seriously, you say that, but, like, I know adult games that have been, um, that did the Ville thing, and they got taken down. Like, they, they do not, like, the, the, the trademark lawyers are brutal for that. It's one thing that I really blame Facebook for, is that they allowed that sort of monopoly. Like that sort of trademark to go through. Uh, I've got a plow. So what's the speed run timer on this? Like, what's the speed runner to fill up the entire map? Uh, seeds. Look at all that lettuce. Look at it. We're gonna make some rabbits really happy. I'm just sad I don't have my big chunky, um, big chunky mechanical keyboard anymore. This would be amazing. All the salad. I didn't become a stream speedrunner. I'm just amused by these sorts of things. <laughs> Let us please our rap. Fuck. Morgan. Oh. All right. All right. Let's sell some stuff. All right. Let's sell some potatoes. We get pretty close to our original our original input there. Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand. Fuck. Could they even ask you to get rid of the game away? The game source fits on one floppy disk. Oh my god. Can, can you do that? I do that. If you can finish the game and sell it on floppy disks. Like, I, I would get a copy of this on floppy disk. Yeah, one square meter. I'm guessing that's one square meter in each direction. I really hope. I'm... Well, we gotta wait for our letters to go. So someone hidden plots underneath the visual ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three hundred. Yeah. Hydroponics. Plant lettuce in air. So let's see what else is gonna. 
Um, like, the one that's there that's useful seems to... I would probably go Irrigator first. Because just watering all your crap takes... is like the, the biggest part of it. Feel of elves ready to be harvested by <laughs> Drake at any time. Yeah. Can someone please come and collect your elves? Irrigator is OP. You heard it here, folks. That is the that is the strat. You've got to get the uh, you got to get the irrigator as soon as possible. This is gonna take forever. We're gonna get one lettuce crop out of this. I promised you people a day without visual novels. You know I'm gonna deliver the good shit. Lettuce takes three in-game weeks. Games, your idle games, where you have to keep going back. All right, and there's no save function. This game has no save function. Oh no, we got a save function! Holy shit, there is a save function. <laughs> I was about to cry there. Added that in the last update because you were getting pissed. <laughs> See why? I'm just wondering, could you run this through DOSBox and increase the cycle so time runs faster? Like that that'd be my trick for it, is running this through DOSBox, upping the cycles. So each day took 20 seconds. Cause that'd give you enough time to do do the watering in a day. But we might, we might call this one Sue, just because otherwise we... It's time locked, not frame locked. <laughs> oh, I can't wait three weeks on my lettuce, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> we got $17 and we need 10,000. <laughs> yeah, Animal Crossing time travel, when? Who thinks that started luxury for Yeah, okay. <sighs> Should've grow I can't grow a rocket. They this this is like a Midwest town. They've never heard of rocket. Like they only heard of lettuce in the 1970s. Alright. We're gonna save this one. Thank you. Thank you, Draven. This was this is adorable and wonderful and I love it. So that's down there at the moment. If you want to check it out and have a nice little idle game, highly recommend Farm VI. All right, and our final game for today. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. If it does, we're gonna we're gonna see how we go. Okay. Um, what was the last game? I had a last game. Do you remember? Do you remember what my game was? Because I don't remember my game was. I do. Uh, we want. Uh, this game does have some content warnings, so let me bring those up first because I gotta have your content warnings. Even in Arcadia uh, includes mentions of drug use and suicidal ideation. Go get yourself some food. Have a good day. All right, let us bring up this one. Where did I put my window? There it is. And now a unity game holy shit folks can you can you believe it i'm actually playing a unity game uh game capture there we go this is even in arcadia 
What is this game about? In a distant future in which capitalism and consumerism have continued to run rampant, corporations have replaced all government and planet Earth has long been relegated to legend. Society constantly moves to new planets and throws away old ones like last year's model of smartphone. You are a guest at the launch party for the most recently developed planet, Arcadia. The party takes place at the planet's premier attraction, the Arcadia Botanical Gardens. As a guest, you may wander the garden's various rooms and eavesdrop on other distinguished guests. The gardens claim to recreate the natural world of pre-launch Earth. A world no one has experienced in thousands of years. The game explores humanity's relationship to nature under capitalism, speculating on what nature would look like when completely constructed by humans, and promoting, prompting the question of how close we already may be to such a a reality this is gonna be an interesting one I am really keen to check this one out so this okay how does this work throughout the game's duration characters will move around and speak to one another you can follow them around listen to conversations and witness their dramas as they unfold throughout the evening events play out in a repeating cycle uh, if you miss a part of a conversation, you'll always have another chance to catch it. You can explore the gardens at your own pace, engage with the interactive elements you encounter, and you're close to interacting with it'll be prompt. Okay, so let's let's check out. This is really cute. So movement, wazzed, mouse to move around, jump. We've got jump. Of course we have. It's a Unity game. Of course we've got jump. Uh, shift to move more quickly. Uh, Q and E, H to HUD. Okay. And there's our there's our credits. Let's play. Welcome, to consumer. Thank you for attending the launch party for Intrepus Interplanetary Colonialization Corporation's newly developed habitat. No. Uh, the Arcadia Gardens multi-sensory experience that recreates a pristine world of pre-launch planet Earth. Remember to wear your Intrepid's provided helmet and gloves at all times inside the gardens. Direct exposure to some plants may cause adverse reactions. May distinguished guests join us tonight, including yourself. All our guests tonight have the option to claim their own early access private hab on Arcadia. God, we're going heavy into colonialization now. Okay, this music's pretty rockin' too. Enjoy the party. I am super keen to try this. Alright, so location, airlock. Yeah. Is there an airlock to request a system? It's a barrel. It's a disposal. It's a garbage bin. Okay. Yeah, this is very cl close to real right now. Welcome to Arcadia Gardens, consumer. You can go ahead and step through the airlock. I love, I love flat, uh, flat sprites on 3D planes. I've always loved it. It's been something I've been a fan of ever since I was a kid. All right. Fucking Gattaca. Sequences. All life in galaxies is coded with just four letters. A, T, G, and C. Is the interpreter of the colonial color corps a database of DNA sequences from each planet on blue? Yep, yeah, got elevator music. Now I want to play Normality. If anyone ever like hasn't played Normality, it was an adventure point, like an adventure game back in the late '90s that used this design, and it was really cool. Some of the letters reproduced here are only small section one planet sequence. A living special there to your right. Try this ancient fruit for yourself in the tasting room. Holy shit! That's the genome for this tree. It's the genome of a papaya. That's kind of freaking cool. I like that. The founders. 
in the beginning. The Arcadia Gardens project was first conceptualized by founder M. Oshana, uh, where she originally worked on engineering food plants. These plants are synthesized on massive barges using DNA sequences brought from Blue at launch. The planet side export zero plants are grown on barges in zero G that gravity cannot keep the plants from producing fruit to their fullest potential. On Blue, this tomato plant would have collapsed on the weight of its fruit, but in space it flourishes. That's kind of cool. Having a conversation. Oh, I love this. Jump in the fountain. Push, push, push. Brochure. Discover the exquisite greens of the pre launch world. Yeah, I love this style. Green Hub project, in addition to uh, providing a centrally located spectacular attraction for the inhabitants of Intrepid's newer development, the Acadia Gardens are a center for scientific progress. Yeah, this feels way too real. Like, I am, I am amazed at how real this, like, unpleasantly real this feels. Why do I always have like throw something away button? Oh, it's because the uh, hitbox for that is quite large. Oh, she's coming out to get gloves. Yeah, this style is amazing. Pictured above are uh, Jack Cano, the garden's architect. The pair followed uh, the Cano style emerges geodesic domes of ancient theme parks. The conservations of earthly botanic gardens and pre-launch designs for modular moon bases. Yeah, this this lobby music is amazing. Oh, there we go. There's our map. <gasps> There's a labyrinth. How do I get to labyrinth? Um. There's the airlock. Tasting room. Flower room. Yeah, let, let's get to the desert room as quickly as possible. Uh, what are we, are we gonna go via the lagoon room or the forest room? Which, which, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna Legend of Zelda this thing. Which way are we going? Go to the admin office and steal everyone's money? Um, I'm just, I'm just gonna jam. Let's, look at these speakers. These are good speakers. Lagoon sounds spooky. Let's go to the lagoon room. So, through the tasting room, out to the lagoon room. Deciduous forest. Plus, this is purple. Purple's my color. Tasting room, a bunch of brochures. Mmm. Taste. Eat everything. Nice overalls. Uh, with your own tongue. Taste the fruit. Taste all the fruit. Yummy. Drink tea and coffee. No thanks, I don't drink. Uh, sugar and sweets. Heck yes, I'll eat that. Uh, ooh, look at that chocolate. Yummy. Yeah, the music is actually really well done because it's actually uh, source appropriate. So this is where we're delving back into uh, relatively easy engines here. And Unity is something you can make something like this one. Relatively easy for, really. Sugar cane? Yummy. Yeah. Tag yourself, I'm this giant stack of chocolate bars. Nuts and spicy spices. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna just gonna eat everything. Mm. This is so cute. <laughs> I'm a pistachio. You're the coffee beans. Mm. Ooh, fresh vegetables. Was that peppercorns? I'm not sure. 
Yeah, those are peppercorns. Tasty. No, you're tasty. Eat everything. Taste a vegetable. Taste a fruit. Taste a drink. Taste a sweet. Taste a spice. Damn it. This is the nuts and spicy spices. Where is my option to taste a nut? I feel cheated. That's the DLC? Ah, oh, okay. Ooh, Lagoon Room. That's where we're going. Flower Room, Lobby. I don't know if I can throw it. Oh, tiny little... Tiny little pictures. Let's check out the flower. Ooh, different music. Yeah, the, the sound effect is just not. Someone gotta come here and jive with me. That's like flower meanings. Hey folks, become a pollinator today. <laughs> mm, Uncle Sam needs you. I do love this music though. Uh, deciduous forest lagoon. Oh, here we go. Ooh. See, this is the sort of shit I wanted to make in Unity. Like, I wanted to do something like this, but with, like, a very zen theme. As a relaxation space. And it's still something I'd love to do if I ever find someone who actually... Ooh! Sub-ocean! Blub, 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 blub. We're gonna wait under the we're gonna wait under the, the lily pads for someone to come into the room and we'll scare them. We got lotuses, crocodile mod. <laughs> yeah, we can jump on the lily pads. This is really cool. I love the music in each of the rooms. Like, each of the rooms is very appropriately mu themed music. Um, deciduous forest or desert? Desert. I don't know what I'm supposed to throw away. This just feels like the Sydney Botanic Gardens. I kind of love this. Warning, to avoid injury, do not touch the plants with spines, even if wearing gloves. They may look soft, but they are not. That's bullshit, I'm gonna cuddle. Ow. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. 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 Now this is my kind of music. I don't know, we're gonna find out. I don't see any hit point bar. Yeah, we need this with the elevator music. This game is metal. Yeah, one of those owls was very pleased with itself. 
Welcome to the oasis. Oh, there we go. Elevator music. Where is it? There it is. Oh my god, it's Caribbean elevator music. This is the sort of shit you listen to at like the incredibly overpriced enclave tourism. Like what you hear by the pool when they've got like the entirety of the island blocked away. I love how middle class this whole thing is. Like, like upper middle class. This is just puddle. You look cool. I like the space bubble. <laughs> There's some really interesting design here and I'm, I'm all in on it. Aww, they're lovely. Look at these amazing characters. They're impressive. Let's dance! I can't really dance. Okay. I was promised a labyrinth. I don't see any labyrinth here. I love that they've all got their, their own little conversations and they're just doing their things and then looping. Is this a labyrinth? Ow! 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 Nope. Sad. Deciduous forest. Uh, I'm not sure, is it? Where are they? There it is. <laughs> I love this mix of art styles. It's really fun. Orchard room. Ooh. This is cool. Watch a gardens room which displays a rich selection of fruit bearing trees from Planet Blue. Was funded by generous donations. And there's the forest. Gazebo! I attack the gazebo. Oh. My god, we can close these. That's really cool. This is really pretty. Like, this, this feels like something that would be a lot of fun to just... Like, I highly recommend people go and explore. The Ascent of Man Pavilion. Dedicated Hermindez Z tag or Z tag, depending on who made this. So we go down. You cast detect evil on the gazebo. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. This just feels like something. This feels like a wonderful little relaxation game. I love what they've done. Bleep. Okay. We're gonna test if there's fall damage. All right. Where's the? Can we get on top of the gazebo to leap off the top? Up. Damn it, this game doesn't have a vault. This game needs a vault command. Alright. Nope, okay. Here we go. Leap! Aww. No, we gotta, we gotta, like, hit the ground. There. No, nope, no fall damage. Oh, they've even got birdsong coming through the speakers. This is super pretty. Yeah, clipping into the pavilion would be speedrun strike. Oh, there we go. 
In this variety, it has multiple forests, tropical, temperate, and boreal. Here you can experience the temperate forest containing trees that change through the blue cal year. Oh, I like that term, cal year, so calendar year. In the hot months of summer, these trees grow bright green with leaves. As the air cooled in the autumn, the same leaves have turned bright colors and fell to the ground in a rainbow carpet. Trees remain bare throughout the cold winter, but in warming spring, they're green with leaves and beautiful flowers. It's really interesting. If you keep a, a forest like utterly neutral in terms of uh, season, so like you don't give it a winter or anything, it doesn't grow rings. It's really cool. Uh, how can I get all of these for my Animal Crossing? Actually, I'm just going to get some uh, fruit for my Animal Crossing village. Uh, what have we got? Um, pomegranates would be really good. We've That's lychees. Oh my god, it's... Oh, we definitely need oranges. Oh good, I'm, about to, I'm getting close to finish anyway. Definitely need oranges. Like, this feels like all the ones that got left out of the new Animal Crossing. Go do a last little bit of exploring and then we might call it because this this is a lot of fun. Just wanted to do some different things today. See what was what, see what people have done. I might be back later on if Pukacorn's around, we could do some more um, garden pause or something. Let's see how I feel. When's the admin room gone? I want to go check out the admin room. I want to break into the admin. Uh, forest room is in the... Admin's in the forest room. So, admin should be here somewhere. Yeah. Let me... Yeah, exactly. It's something I do really want to encourage. Is I, I want to see more sorts of games out there. Visual novels are incredible. Yeah, unauthorized door and we can't go into it. Like, this this is the sort of day I want to run a lot more often. I want to find games that are different. Everyone, I think a lot of people feel like they need to put in very story heavy games. But that's not what digital diversity is about. The digital diversity isn't just... Okay. Um, like, digital diversity is about the people who make the games, not the games themselves. Yeah, ominous. I feel like I'm missing something. There's probably a lot more in this game that I haven't seen. Uh, so yeah, I want to see more farming sims. I want to see games like this. I want to see all sorts of different experiences that don't have to be... Did we miss anything? I think we got everything. That they don't have to be so story rich. They don't have to be... Look at this mess. Like, can someone just clean this up, please? Like, there's a lot of layers this game. I am barely touching the surface. But I'm loving it. It is damn fun. Where's the... I am really annoyed because on that map it said there's a, a, a labyrinth here. So yeah, if if you make if you are part of the LGBTQIA plus community and you make games and you make different games I love they all float then let me know. I wanna play them even, like no matter what they are. Ozymandias. Avoiding questions. This, it makes me happy. Thank you for thank you for submitting them. Thank you for putting them on my radar. Cause a lot of this stuff I won't know about if people don't let me know. Like I can I can go and troll the the tags on itch as much as I want. But without people telling me that their games exist and they want to be um, that they want to be seen and they want to be recognized then 
there's not a lot I can do. And I, I'm getting through the list. I'm most of the way through this. Yeah, uh, so Tangle Virus is com currently working on a visual novel so gay that I get my term, my, uh, my status taken away from me on Twitch. Uh, with, but it can't be taken away for queer things. It can't just be, it can't just be like lewd. It needs to be, what's Ozymandias doing in here? <laughs> like, um, it just has to be that gay. There's an emergency in the orchard room. <laughs> There's an emergency. I'll deal with it later. What's happening in the orchard room? Oh my god, the orchard room's on fire! This is all still cycle one, so this is like... So there's at least like 15 minutes on each cycle. Into the fire! Into the flames! <laughs> Did you set this fire? <gasps> this is amazing, what I miss. Ed's in Arcade Echo. Yes, yeah, suspicious person standing in the middle of the orchard room. I don't know. We didn't start it. I can't do anything about it. There's no button to press. Oh, hello. The airlock released to put out the fire. If you stay here, you'll be sucked into space. Too bad. I'm staying here. Sucked into space. Sucked into space. Sucked into space. Sucked in space. <laughs> Press F to get sucked into space. Do it, do it, do it, do it. It was lizards! Oh my god, it was lizards! <laughs> She's blaming lizards! What happens? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, they've taken out the person who set the fire. Wait, I'm going down here. Nope, we're staying in. Here we go. Take me with you! Take me with you! <laughs> I want a treat! I want a treat! I'm taking this tree to the lagoon room! I'm taking it to the lagoon room! No, I can't get it through the door. It's okay, there's another one. <laughs> I'm gonna remodel this place to my own designs. Hey, how's the Ad Medius? I brought you a tree. You looked hungry. Alright, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil the conversation. I'll, I'll let other people check that out. This feels... <laughs> well, this game is so gay, it set fire to itself. Like... 
There, now none of you can leave. You're all trapped in here. And let's use the other door. I gotta block the other door. Yeah, this this is definitely me making me want to play normality. I wonder if I can get that working. No, come back, tree, I need you. Yeah, this this is this is getting dark and weird. I mean it's it's all a, a big thing on capitalism, so and col uh, colonialization, so there's 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 gonna be some real dark elements to this, I have a feeling. There we go. Damn it. I'm trying to block everyone from leaving. Alright. Well, that was fun. I think we might I think we might call it at that, because that was that was a lot of fun. Bye everyone. Just go straight through the tree. Let, let's go to a nicer ending space. Let's go let let's go uh, sit on some um, Let's go sit on some cacti. Ow. 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 Alright. Ow. 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 Yep, this is how we end the stream. Ow. Not with a bang, Ow. but a fire Ow. and Ow. a romp Ow. with cacti. Ow. Thank you, everyone. Uh, this Ow. has been a Ow. wonderful, Ow. very Ow. different Ow. kind of Ow. digital Ow. diversity tonight. Ow. Ow. Thank Ow. you for all being here. It's Ow. been a lot of fun. Ow. Ow. Uh, we've got a lot Ow. of stuff coming up. We've got Ow. more interviews. Ow. We've got... Ow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for that now got interviews coming up we've got podcast stuff coming up keep an eye here go chuck me a follow at nb kaiju on twitter and digi diversity i g i d i v e r s e on the twitters um to find out what's going on on digital diversity thank you all for being here you have made my day and my week so yeah until next time look after yourselves look after each other Remember that you are not alone. Stay queer, play games, make games, and I will see y'all next time. Ciao, folks. <laughs>